just and glory goes to our mighty power, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Raka Kodash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to the elect men feeding the sheep of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, in sincerity and in truth with this great gospel, man. We're going to get into this lesson. Um, a lot of you men out there, man, <laughs> the best thing you can do is get away from these these animals and we're talking about these women these women are animals and these women are lower than animals man because matter of fact let me get this one verse right quick we're gonna go to book of lamentation let's go to four verse three and it reads even the sea monsters draw out the breast they give suck to their young ones the daughter of my people is become cruel i'm reading it again the daughter of my people has become cruel like the ostrich in the wilderness, the tongue of the sucking child cleaveth to the roof of his mouth for thirst. The young children ask for ask bread, and no man breaketh unto them. And look, that's a metaphor, but when you take it for a, for a sight value, you women, man, you women are worth are worthless in this society. You don't feed your children. You don't take care of your children. You let the television raise them, right? You, you're so worried about what's going on in your in your sick lives, man. a lot of these women, they got issues from the past. They got issues from the past. A lot of family members touched them up, right? A lot of boyfriends touched them up, right? And they're so mixed. They, they haven't been taught in the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai because the first man a woman lays with, that's her husband, supposed to be her husband forever. In this society, they're talking about dating. So this bitch done date 30, 40, 50 niggas, all type of sperm running through her body. And you know that spirit, saw them spirits in her mind, and then she finally get married to one dude. The next thing you know, she's killing the kids. That's the spirit of you woman. You woman like killing your kids. You don't you don't take care of these kids. Um, a lot of these kids got that broke back spirit is because of you fucking women. Because of you women. You women, all you want to do is fucking argue, fight, right? Start off, start drama. That's why they call you women drama queens, right? In this society. I'm gonna go to the verse of to this verse right quick. Proverbs um, 21 and 19. It is better to dwell in the wilderness. It is what? It is better to dwell in the wilderness than with a contentious and with a, an, an, an angry woman. A contentious and ang angry woman. Yeah, man. Look, shit. If you got one of them demons, man, that demon acting up too hard, man, you gotta pray to the Lord and ask the Lord to put you in a better situation. So you don't end up like these motherfucking bitches who just, you know, they be mad at they men. So they who they take it out on the kids. It says mother arrested. I don't want them anymore. Woman allegedly tells police after she killed her kids. I don't want them anymore. You never wanted them in the first place. You never wanted them in the first place, man. You women are, are animals, brute beasts. And read again, it is better to dwell in the wilderness than with a contentious and an angry woman, man. And these bitches, they're upset. A lot of these hoes, they done lost their jobs, right? They no longer making the money they used to. Because what happened due to coronavirus? Due to the coronavirus, a lot of you women lost them office positions. No more wearing them little short mini skirts, showing them rough ass knees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You in the office, knees rough than a motherfucker. But them legs still look good. But guess what? No more of that. You committing adultery. You done hug 30 different niggas and your husband at home. Oh, hi, Bob. Hi, Bill. Kissing ass. Ain't doing, they ain't there doing the motherfucking thing. But um, making men get horny over you, making men commit adultery in their minds and their hearts, and here you are married, man. The Lord had to shut that down. So these bitches been at home with the kids. They don't know how it feels. They don't know how to how to raise children. They don't know how to be around children. So what they doing? They killing them little motherfuckers. It says three children found dead. Mother arrested. Look at pale, pale um, <laughs> this pale devil. This pale devil clap killed the shit out of them kids, and it's more. You got Moab, right? It says, Mom accused of murdering her sons faces the judge in court. And all this is in fucking one to two, three weeks. <laughs> one to two, three weeks of just women killing their children. Women slaughtering their children. Here's another one. Cincinnati family shines light on abuse visitation struggles after mom kills kids. Look at the kids. Look at these beautiful black, these beautiful black children black children look at their brown skin their hair is black but you stupid motherfuckers call them black kids yeah 
that's how dumb hey the lord got to destroy all this darkness all this wickedness all this stupidity it's too much stupidity it's too much women in rulership women outspoken right women thinking they're in power too much women committing adultery these women are whores out here these women are no good whores man they got demons on them man let's look at this other demon right here look at this demon boy she snapped it says police searching for woman who allegedly shot, killed brother and boyfriend in Clarkston. Yeah, she snapped. She killed brother and boyfriend. And um, you niggas, you trusting in these women. Yeah, let's go to Ecclesiasticus 25 and um, 16. I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. It's, these are words out the Bible, man. These are words out the Bible, man. It says it's better to be on a rooftop man, than to be with this woman, man. It's better to dwell with a lion <laughs> and a dragon than to be with these wicked-ass women, man. And with these wicked-ass women, man, hey, if you got to step your game up and you got to take care of your seeds yourself and remove your seeds from this dangerous demon, <laughs> hey, do what you got to do for yours, man. For yours. Because, yeah, um, this life is about, what, struggling. It's about fighting. It's about enduring. Shit, and it's about stepping up. It's about stepping up. Yeah, man. You got these fucking wicked ass women. You already know shit. And these bitches is broke. All these bitches are broke as hell. They ain't got no money in their pocket. They sucking and fucking on the internet doing nasty shit just so they can get a dollar. And, uh, man, hoes be asking me for, for uh, money all the time from these stores. I go to the store to go get me my motherfucking arms um, to go get the fucking six pack of beer. What you got? Stupid ass women. Oh, can I get some change? Can I get some? No, you can't get a motherfucking thing. You can't get nothing from me. <laughs> yeah, the only thing you can get from us is what? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, we're going to cuss you out. Because there's a reason why you're out here suffering. There's a reason you're not at home with your husband. There's a reason why you're not at home with your mother and father. They don't even want to help you. Even their parents don't even want to help these women. It says the wickedness of... I'm going to read it again. Ecclesiasticus 25, 16. I'd rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a woman, wicked woman. The wickedness of a woman changeth her face and darkeneth her countenance like sackcloth, <clears throat> right? It says, her husband shall sit among his neighbors, and when he heareth, it shall sigh bitterly. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. What all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman, man? These women are killing multiple people. These women are turning into what serial fucking killers out here, bro. Come on, let's look, let's go over these articles again, right? Are we making this shit up, man? Nope. I don't want them anymore. What kind of woman don't want her kids? Back in the days, what the judge would take the woman, leave the husband. What the the kids, the woman, the kids would automatically go to the to the, to the woman. The woman would automatically get custody of the children. Oh, cause she came from the woman. She came from the woman. No, uh, -uh. no, nah, we ain't come from the woman. Hold on, let's let's get that verse. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the book of First Corinthians. Let me do First Corinthians eleven and eight. It says, "For the man is not of the woman." Yeah, get that in your mind, women. Yeah, I brought you into this world. Yeah, no, nah, you women, you ain't brought nothing into this world, man. Matter of fact, we brought your asses into this world. 1 Corinthians 11 and 8. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Yeah, the woman of the man. And that's the problem with the women of this society. They don't understand. They don't have no understanding. They don't have no wisdom of the scriptures. They're going according to feelings, right? Verse 9. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man, right? For this cause ought the woman to have power for this cause ought the woman to have power on her head because of the angels. Because you got to realize what the woman was here created to be what a helpmate. What did it say? The man should not dwell alone. I'm going to make him a helpmate. Let's get that. Let's get that. These women ain't no help in the society. They helping what destroy our nation. That's the only thing they doing. They helping destroy our nation. They killing the kids. I'm gonna read the book of Genesis. help meet it's the book of genesis 2 and 18 
And the Lord said, and Yahweh said, it is not good that man should be alone. Why? Because man was first. I will make him a help meet for him. I will make him a help meet for him. And out of the ground, the Lord power formed every beast and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. So where was Eve at this time? Yeah, woman ain't no woman's job to do nothing but shut the fuck up. You're going to be cooking. You're going to be cleaning. You're going to be giving birth. And in the kingdom of heaven, you ain't got to do nothing but just give birth and beat the shit out the other nations. Yeah, you're going to be the, the ultimate supervisor manager over the other nations. That's how, that's how we're going to set you up. But on this side, man, you better prepare to suffer because um, your atrocities has um, reached the heavens and the Lord is getting tired of you wicked ass women, man.